Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Now, today we've got an interesting type of dish. Now, all the fad now is the idea of a keto diet now, or, or, a, or an Atkins diet. And both those diets, it, they specialize in working on very low carbs. So those people who are on looking for a low carb alternative, so looking to cut out things like rice and breads and pastas, there is an interesting alternative. Something that gives a bit of the flavor of rice and the feeling and satisfaction you get from rice, but happens to be extremely low in carbohydrates. And that's this new thing called cauliflower rice. Of course, it's not new at all. Cauliflower has been around for, well, since the beginning of the world. Um, but the new fad to put it in this format is quite an interesting one. And it kind of ties in with the idea of keto and low carbs. All really cauliflower is, I bought some here because I happened to be walking through Aldi and I, and I thought, well, I couldn't bother making some. All, all, all it really is, is a cauliflower head um, blitz in a food processor, so, so it's it's fine grains and it's it's a nice idea. And you cook it a little bit like uh, a little bit like rice, but in, in a lot less water. And it has uh, some of the texture and the feel of rice. And you can also add lots of other flavors to it. So I'm going to do a savory cauliflower rice today. Simple, easy. Let's get to it. Okay, let's get to it. So, this is quite a quick dish. In goes my coconut oil. Alright, first up, our onions. Load the heat and cover. So next I'm going to put some boiling water onto my stock cubes, a little bit, just to dissolve the stock cube. And that's going to also add a little bit more moisture when I put the cauliflower in to help cook the cauliflower through um, after I put the chives and the thyme in. Okay, onions have cooked down nicely. So into that now, I'm going to add the chives. So, the thyme, the chives and the onions are in now. Again, I'm just going to let them cook down just a couple of minutes. Okay, they've cooked down nicely. Into that, I'm just going to add some mixed herbs. Some chili flakes, not too many. Stir that through and leave to cook through for a few minutes. So we have all our seasonings nicely cooking through there. You can see it's quite rich, vibrant colour already. And now I'm going to add in our cauliflower rice. So stir that through properly. Make sure all the flavours and the seasonings go all the way through. The final stage now is to add our stock and pour that over and then just a little bit of moisture, not too much, and then leave that to cook through uh, to cook through the cauliflower. Cover, leave it to cook, so I'm gonna leave this to cook for about five or ten minutes. I'm gonna check it to, just to see if it's soft. I'm gonna leave it. So the final stage now, I'm gonna add about hundred grams of roasted cashews. Mix them through. Just give a little touch of sweetness. I'm just going to add a sprinkling of raisins. And now we are done. A hearty, rich, spicy, Mediterranean-y type of dish that has a look and taste of rice but it's very low in carbohydrates and here we have it a little dainty sample portion of our spicy savory a little bit sweet cauliflower rice see some raisins there see some Cashew nuts, but always put it in then. But let's see what it tastes like. So it looks like rice. It smells a bit like rice. It's got a consistency of rice. Mm. <coughs> a little bit of heat in it. <coughs> a little bit of heat in it from the chili. Really nice flavour. And the, the raisins give it a little bit of sweetness. 
Mm. Capture notes give it a really nice note of flavour throughout. And consistency is very much like rice. <coughs> now, the chili's making me cough, but it's not actually that hot. I don't really love hot food, but the chili's got a nice flavour, a nice bit of heat. We just kind of get the back of the throat a little bit. It's so good, actually, that if I didn't tell you it was rice, you probably wouldn't even know it was rice. So you're getting the low carb um, meal. It's satisfying, it's rich, it's full, it's full of flavour. You're getting that carb kind of feeling, which is nice, but we're actually getting the actual carb. So this is perfect for those who are on a keto diet or an Atkins diet, or if you just want to kind of break it up to ease back on some of your starchy carbs. This is a perfect way of doing it. Absolutely delicious. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Food Tech 101 is now also on Facebook and Instagram. As always, my name is Mr. Liebert, but you can call me Sir.